next. It is a heavyweight title fight between Jan Pohovic and John Jones. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. significant title in combat sports. No argument from me. Baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion. There he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Four years, the difference in age between these two fighters with similar height and some differences in reach. Here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve LeVay. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a look see do fighter, holding a professional record of 26 wins, one loss, and one no contest. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, presenting the challenger, John Paul. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a Muay Thai fighter, holding a professional record of 28 wins, 8 losses. He stands 62 inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Warsaw, Poland, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, John. UFC belt on the line, guys. Protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. And it seems like every time the UFC comes here, something special happens. UFC 192, obviously an epic title fight between you and Alexander Gustafson. UFC 166, one of the greatest fight cards of all time. Houston's got another one in store tonight. Yes, tonight you have a chance to make your own history. We saw Melendez versus Sanchez. Me and Gustafson put on the show there. Velasquez and Dos Santos put on the show there. Will you be remembered like we have at the Toyota Center? 
Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Oh, you heard him bad with the jab. Oh, collar tie. Takedown defense holds up. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jab. Right hand punch with the clinch. Right punches there. Big elbow there, Lance. Right hook attempt. That's a miss. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Effective strike. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such. Now he's masterful from here. Well, he went to a single switch to a high clutch. inside his opponent's guard here, DC. Triangle looks pretty tight here. We'll see if he can get out of it. It might be over. I mean, he stayed in there. Oh, wow, oh! Side control now, and certainly I would think more offensive options for the bottom fighter than in the half guard. Absolutely more offensive options, because now you can just start to get away. You can just go to a wrestling stand-up, get to your knees, post your hands, don't allow him to get his hooks in, right? Really be aware of the hooks. But get to your hands, stand up, fight the hands, break away and escape. But it's so much more free-flowing than the half guard in the side control, because all you need to do is just get the opponent's body up because his legs are just free to move. His legs are not controlling anything. His legs are just free, so you have more freedom to use yours. Twenty seconds now remain in the round. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out but it does excite me for the next round. Are you ready? You ready? Fight. Second round underway. Nice punch by Johnny Depp. Oh, nice connection there by John Jones, and he is fighting with a definite killer instinct here tonight. And you have to have it, because the target's always on your back when you're the UFC champion. Jones seems destined to keep that title right there. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Quick entry here. Nice single leg entry. Rotates ahead outside to high ground. Oh. Nice big takedown. What a technique. What a takedown. Great high impact skill. You could feel the canvas reverberating here at the ground. I mean, right there. Boom, 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 boom. Ah. It's like me running anywhere, John. <laughs> Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Oh, he's going for his arm now. He gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic 
You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submissions. All right, so there is the consensus baddest man on the planet, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion, your winner tonight by way of submission. He leaned on the grappling. That was the path of least resistance, and that is the man they are all chasing for UFC heavyweight gold. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, 25 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out. Uh,